In this video, we're going to look at the difference between an alcohol and an ether. So we're talking about organic chemistry. We have an alcohol and an ether. What's different? And the key difference is that with an alcohol, in that OH group's on the end of the molecule. And this R here, that just means we have a carbon, has hydrogens around it, but it could be a carbon bonded to another carbon or another carbon like this. The key is that at the end of it, we have this OH group right here. That's an alcohol. In contrast, with the ether, the key is we have a single bond here to an oxygen and then another single bond. So the oxygen is between carbon atoms. And this prime here, what that means is that we could have two carbon atoms. So this side is different from this side here, but they're both carbon atoms surrounded by hydrogens, carbon bonds to four things. And we could have another carbon here as well. That would still be an ether because we have carbon, single bond oxygen, single bond carbon. That's the difference. So let's practice a few. So we have two representations. So this is the same molecule. This is a skeletal formula. So is this an alcohol or an ether? Pause and give it a try. So here you see that OH group bonded to the carbon, the rest of the molecule here. Here's that OH group and here's the rest of the molecule. This is definitely an alcohol. And down here you see these are the carbons and we don't write the hydrogens in because we know carbon bonds to four things. And note, you could visualize this like this here where we have our carbon with the hydrogens around it and then that oxygen on the end. All right, let's try another one. So again, these are the same molecules, different representation. Is this an alcohol or an ether? So we see pretty clearly that we have that oxygen right there in the middle, has single bonds to a carbon. That's gonna be the ether. And down here we'd have a carbon. You could draw the hydrogens in if you wanted. Okay. Let's do another one. This one's a little more difficult. Note that the carbons, that's where the lines meet, right here and here. Is this an alcohol or an ether? So you can see the pattern. We have a carbon single bonded to oxygen, and this oxygen single bonded to a carbon. It's same thing down here. So this is going to be an ether. One more. So we have our skeletal formula and our molecular model. Is this an alcohol? or an ether. So we know we have carbons here. There's our single bond of the oxygen on both sides. You can see it here and the oxygen is single bonded to carbons. That's an ether. Actually, let's do one last one. Pause. Is this an alcohol or an ether? So here are our carbons and they'd be bonded to four things. So there'd be hydrogen on them. But right here, carbon bonded to this OH group, it's got to be an alcohol. So that's the difference between alcohols and ethers. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.